Hi guys, welcome to our A Level Biology. Uh, we will be looking at the defense mechanisms and defense mechanisms and phagocytosis. So, in terms of the learning objectives, you need to be able to describe the main defense mechanisms of the body, explain how the body looks at the differences uh, between its own cells and foreign cells, describe the first line of defense against disease, explain the process. Of phagocytosis and describe the role of lysosome uh, in phagocytosis. So in terms of the AQA specification we are uh, here. Okay so firstly the key words the words that normally people are getting wrong. So pathogen it's an organism causing disease. Antigen it's a foreign protein that stimulates an immune response, production of antibodies. And finally, antibody is a protein, specific protein to an antigen, which is produced by B cells or secreted by plasma cells. Those terms are correct. So what is the relationship between pathogen and antigen? Well, antigen is found on the surface of the pathogen. So defense mechanisms, we can divide them into specific and non-specific. Non-specific uh, mechanisms will treat uh, all the pathogens in the same way. So we can be looking here at the physical barriers and phagocytosis. And finally, specific, so a bit more complicated. So here we will have T cells and B cells involved in the processes. So process with the T cells will be called cell-mediated response with the B cells then humoral response. So a quick recap from section two. What are glycoproteins and glycolipids? Uh, so those are uh, carbohydrates with proteins and carbohydrates with lipids found on the cell surface membrane, uh, on the bilayer. The job of them is to uh, identify cells. The examples of the antigen presenting cells um, could be, for example, B cell, could be a microphage. Okay, so those are the examples of the antigen presenting cells. Remember, T cells are not antigen presenting cells. Right, so a quick difference between specific and non specific mechanism. So, specific mechanism will look at the, each pathogen in different way. Why the non specific? will treat them uh, all in the same way. So because they, they will be specific, looking at the pathogens in different ways, they will work slower and the non-specific will work rapidly. Why are they going to work slower? Because the lymphocytes that will control the pathogen need to build up the numbers. Okay, and this will take time. So you will find out soon that B cells and T cells need to divide by mitosis. So that will be taking time. Why the non-specific uh, mechanism? Uh, it's the fact that the body responds straight away by recognizing this pathogen and by phagocytosis. Okay, so phagocytosis will delay the building, uh, the, 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 the building of those lymphocytes here, so it works straight away. So there is a process of phagocytosis. Okay, so phagocyte. Okay, uh, with the lysosome, uh, and here we've got our pathogen with the antigen on its surface. So what happens here? We'll have a look at the wider picture. So uh, we've got the phagocyte, okay? So uh, it's our cell and pathogen, okay? So phagocyte is attracted to this uh, pathogen by chemicals and then we'll move to, uh, towards it. So what happens here? The phagocyte, okay, will have specific receptors on its surface membrane that can easily attach to chemicals on the surface of the pathogen, okay? Uh, then the lysosomes uh, within the phagocyte will start moving towards this uh, pathogen, towards actually this vesicle, because what happens here once the pathogen engulfs, 
the vesicle it's from. The vesicle could be called phagosome, could be called the vacuole as well. So after it's engulfed, okay, it's uh, producing the vesicle or phagosome or vacuole. Right, so what happens next? What happens to this phagosome, to this vesicle? The lysosome comes along and to release lysosomes, okay, so releases the enzymes to this vesicle. And those enzymes will hydrolyze the pathogen, okay? But of course, our exams are not really always straightforward, and there are a few hints with the questions. So there could be general questions, and there could be more specific questions. So it comes to the general question, like describe what is phagocytosis. Every time when you will be talking about pathogen, you can just use the word pathogen, okay? But we know that pathogen could be, for example, bacteria. So if in the question they've mentioned anything, they name the pathogen, so for example, they call it bacteria, you must use specific uh, terminology here. So this is just general question. The words like pathogen, you can uh, change for bacteria or any other words. So phagocyte is attracted by a substance recognized uh, recognizes foreign antigen. So remember, antigen, it's the one on the surface of the pathogen. It's a foreign protein. Pathogen or bacteria and go, will be engulfed, will be then enclosed in the vesicle. We've mentioned vesicle could be called phagosome or vacuole, and the vacuole will fuse with lysosome. Lysosome will contain those enzymes, and pathogen will be digested. Okay? or hydrolyze. Do not say destroy, destroy. It's not going to give you any mark. So one more question to look at. Describe how phagocytosis of a virus, so see here, virus is your pathogen, leads to the presentation of its antigen. So antigen is a foreign protein on the pathogen, on the virus. So in this situation here, you must be specific using those words. So with the antigen, we always need to say cell surface membrane, okay? Here, pathogen, virus, so call it virus. So how does it happen? How does it work? Starting with the phagosome, because it's only three marks, so that vesicle, which will fuse with the lysosome. What will then lysosome do? Of course, we'll have enzymes, lysosomes, which will uh, destroy here destroy the hydrolyze actually hydrolyze the virus and the uh, foreign antigen foreign proteins from the virus from the pathogen will be displayed on the cell membrane so cell membrane is on the line and make sure it's there because one more time what is the antigen it's a foreign protein which will be presented on the cell surface membrane to stimulate the production of antibodies. Right, so that's everything. That's phagocytosis done. See you soon. Bye.